Hi folks, my name is Vladimir. I am CAD application engineer for PDC products and in today's video tutorial I'd like to show you how to work and use the flange feature with Creo Parametry 3.0. You know that I always start from scratch because I'd like to show you more than one feature and for now I will st we'll start with sheet metal. We have to define the name for the object and we can start. Okay. So if you would like to work with flange feature, you can see here that it is not possible to do because we need to some base shape, for example, extrude feature or planner. I start with planner because I'd like to show you more and more. If you work with planner feature, you need to select the sketch plane and define the base shape. My base shape will be looks like this and I will modify it and you can set any dimensions here yes yeah, so it's up to you you can specify your custom dimensions here and modify it slowly and slowly so it's up to you yeah nobody cares for now this is a quick example so for him now you can see here that system will create for me if I will finish the sketch the dynamic preview I can set the thickness and the side where I'd like to add the material. So right now over here is the possible to create a flange feature. It's a really similar to flat. I hope so that you have seen my video tutorials about the flat feature. But the ribbon is a little bit little complicated, but don't scare, I would like to show you everything step by step. So, placement. What you need to do is select the edge. And you can see here right now that it looks really similar to flat feature, but you have to be careful. What you can do, don't look on the shape from the front side, but spin it a little bit and right now you can see this is the eye so in the shape mode you can see that is only one line and if you select the drop down menu here you can choose a different kind of predefined shape for the flange feature and for example arc or s type or open type yeah so slowly and slowly you can change and find which is suitable for you so I'd like to show you some example how it look and for example Z looks like here and what now you can create or modify it so if, would, if you like it you can change only the dimension from 6 to 8 for example or specify the different kind of dimensions here so 1.8 and so on yeah so you can really easily see here that the modification of the predefined shape is really quick and you can apply it and finish yes yeah, so it doesn't matter if you finish it the time I previously show what is there so I'd like to delete it and start one more time so create a flange feature select the edge and modify a little bit yeah so select and here is the question what do you like to do if you would like to use whole selected edge or only part of this one so over here you can see directly the system automatically show you offset dimension negative value means that system will remove the material or if you select the positive value for example 20 the system will add material here again you can directly work with reliefs so for example if you would like to remove this one you can use the relief and set rectangle again what's type and dimensions here I will use the 20 and system automatically create a cut for it if you use it here be careful yeah for example 30 the offset value is 30 but the rectangle relief is only 20 so you can directly remove everything 
there's a lot of kind of steps how to do it this is the one of them in the next video tutorial i will show you more again how to work with extend lines okay fine so right now you know how to create and place flange feature and modify and define relief but over here is the two kind of relief bend relief and corner relief what does it mean well, i like to start from scratch one more time so i will use the flange and flange means that you can define more than one edge because in placement tab you can specify one by one what does it mean you can select the first one and continue with shift button and the system automatically continue around and you can select how many edges you would like to use yeah so for now the system creates for me perfect closed shape but maybe you would like to create some other modifications so it's not a problem you can go directly to the shape and use the sketch mode and come from sketch in the sketch you don't want to create only straight line or strange wall straight wall but you would like to close this box so add another dimension here for example 20 to 20 and if i finish in dynamic preview you can see that system create correctly for me closed box with some flange around i like it that sounds good yeah a colleague asked me and how can i modify the relief you've all spoken about relief and okay no problem you can go here and you can define corner relief i will focus again with control button and middle button system has a predefined v-notch but i'd like to use the different one for example up round and again you can specify dimensions here for example here only for check the system will apply the correct corner relief everywhere so if i will finish it i have created really quickly only two features in model tree the closed box and if you would like to see the flat pattern preview no problem select it expand the window move it where you want and you can check if the shape is okay you can have a look on the bounding dimensions and again in dynamic preview is really cool because if you'd like to change something for example this one the system will automatically change the flat pattern preview with your dynamic preview so i like it yeah so it was really quick okay so for now you know how to use the flange feature and how to place it how to modify the shape or how to use the relief the another point is what does it mean to create the meter cuts i'd like to show in another example so start one more time delete the feature and continue for example i'd like to create a flat and i will select create a flat and set some dimensions okay we can follow this one and the radius will be 50 or something like this okay this one is good and i like to continue with flange feature for now you know that is the possible to select one edge or use the shift mode and select another edges and you can see here the system will create a flange mode around the selected edges and if the if the wall is really small the system automatically create this wall here the question is if it is not possible to create a wall the system will automatically remove it but my colleagues again ask me can i leave the surface there or make some modification yeah okay go to meter cuts and keep the formation area okay yeah so the system really quickly creates deformation area and you can specify the gap 
if it is two or three five millimeters it's up to you yeah and dynamic phrase works and again you can select the offset value in millimeters or you can specify predefy dimensions here Oops, so confirm ok and again you can use the copy and paste and place it where you want or you can create a new one I'd like to show you the other things what is possible to do with flange feature and it's a offset value again the system will create directly here the mid cut uh, re the relief here I'm sorry because it's not possible to continue if you select the shift button the system will continue to another edges but I like to modify it a little bit so go here and use the offset functions the last time you have seen that is the possible to select and place it add to part edge or here is the question you would like to use the by value so go straight on and you can go directly inside and set the necessary value for you and again if you would like to specify the relief here yep so select the necessary value for you and confirm yeah the question is if it is possible to do with flange feature if you can do and create the offset information for flat so one more time sorry i, I will go back to flat feature and again i like to only show you that is the possible so how to use the offset value for flat feature I think that this one is a really good example that you would like to use the offset by value and here you would like to go straight on with positive or negative yep this looks cool here is the example that how you can create and use the flange features combine it, combine it with flat sheet metal feature I hope so that you like it and in my next video tutorial I will focus on the next sheet metal feature step by step slowly and slowly stay tuned and see you soon goodbye Vladimir